Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we are playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Now this is a story based walking simulator game and I'm really excited to play it. I've watched a little bit of it and it looked really interesting to me and I'm very into story based games. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you guys stick around to watch the rest of the series. So she has a journal here called Edith Finch. Now, I need to go ahead and open this. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. So I'm assuming I lived here that's until the I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Huh, I wonder why. Mailbox? It looks exactly like their house. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Oh, well. Oh, did I just do that? Yep, okay. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, her brother died. <laughs> I watched it like a while back, so I don't remember everything. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Mm, she's got some nice nails. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Are we going down here? Where are we going? I kind of like this because you get to see like the scenery here. Sh am I supposed to go down here? I mean, it looks like it's a path. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Huh. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Is this the house, or is this just a cabin? Oh, it says missing. Is there a way to oh, I can see myself. Can I zoom in on this somehow? I don't know. There's just a bunch of missing papers. Oh, this takes us to the house. So this is like a little kind of like, I guess, where they park their cars. Yeah. The house was exactly house. like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. I love the music in this, though. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I mean, I can see why. It looks unsafe. So there's a bunch of just these missing... I want to see what it says. Can I like pick it up? Oh, right click. Milton Finch. If you have information about Milton call. I can't even read that. I don't know. I guess that's her brother. Now, as a 17 year old, I oh, knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh my god. I could never imagine being afraid of my house. Use the key? I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh. Let's take a peek. Oh, oh, I forgot. I need to like control whether or not she lifts it. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Huh. That's creepy. Maybe there's just ghosts haunting it or something. Can we walk faster? Oh, shifting also zooms. Okay. Where do we go? Oh, this looks so cool though, like living in the woods, kind of like being on your own. Although this house is super creepy, I don't think I'd ever want to live in here. I mean, would you guys want to? I don't think so. We can hear frogs. 
Okay, maybe we're supposed to go through the garage. Or maybe through a window. Can we open this? No, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, wind chimes. Oh, a doggy door. Can we go through this? Oh. That's a yes. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Aww. So this is the garage. Just a bunch of... There's like pellets or something. Potting mix. That's a lot of books. I guess they were into canoeing, maybe. I mean, clearly they were into gardening. Oh, look, a little pool. The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh. For the first time in years. Oh, for the first time in years. Sorry. I felt like I was home. Oh, boy. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. That is a lot of plates. This is so messy. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh. Oh my god, that is a lot. Holy crap. Wow. They, they were really into reading. Huh. This house is so messy. Let's go over here. There's so many books. Oh my god, what happened? The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Oh, so they up and ran or something? It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Um, sparing the furniture? I mean... Wow. Oh my god, who was this? Eddie? I wonder who that was. Maybe a grandparent? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Oh, Edie, I'm sorry, not Eddie. <laughs> Oops. Wow. That is I just I'm I'm like I overwhelmed with all these books. Abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. I I agree. That's it's just I mean, like, at least have shelves for all these books. I put them into storage, but like having them just lying everywhere, that's just crazy. I can only imagine someone upstairs. Did you hear that? It sounded like... Oh, there's a basement. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Interesting. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Photos here. Barbara Finch. They're really into. Oh, what is this called? I can't remember. Like collecting insects. There's a word for it. I can't remember. Oh. What the heck? Is somebody else in here? This kind of looks cool, though. Like the way the books are kind of like lying around here. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. What? That is so creepy. Well, no wonder there's probably a lot of ghosts in here. Oh my god. Can we get on this chair? I would love to sit on here and get up here. No? I guess we have to get up the old-fashioned way. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh. That's, that's not creepy at all. I wonder how he went missing or like what happened. Oh, it says the date Barbara that they- was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Well, this is so weird. Is that when she died? 1944 to 1960? Oh my. Okay, we'll go up there in a second. I want to go look into all the rooms and be a peeping Tom. 
What is this? Oh, are these twins or something? Colin and... S oh, wait. There's a colon. Calvin and Sam. Calvin, 1950 to 1961. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. What? I hope he wasn't actually, like, dead in the room. Gregory, 1976. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Did he live in a bathroom? Is that what this means? Sven and Edie. Oh, she died in 2010. Oh, wow. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. Oh, Edith Sr. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I feel like this house is so cluttered, I can't. Oh, here's an em here's an open room, but let's just look at this one. Molly. 1937 to 1947. Oh my god, she was Molly only 10. always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and enter this room, since it's the only one that's open. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I don't know. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Oh, what's this? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Was this for a book? Oh, the keys for the book! Maybe, I'm probably wrong. Oh no, maybe not. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Wait, what? Okay, that's smart. That is Now it was time to so find smart. out what my mom had been afraid of. Mom, what have you been afraid of? <sighs> what on earth? <gasps> Did they lock up a child in here? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Okay, this- But I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> They locked a child up in here. That's what they did. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. What on earth? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. <gasps> Wait, was this Being her inside room? inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. <laughs> Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Oh, that's cute. So this is Molly's room. Is that poop? <laughs> oh wow. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time oh, here. That's Molly. Before my mom sealed the doors. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear diary. I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. Aww. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. <gasps> I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh my god, what? Mom? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh my god, her voice is so cute though. This Halloween candy? My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh, girl, you shouldn't have ate it all. What else are you looking for? Oh, she's got a fish! Oh, please tell me you're not gonna eat the fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Good idea. What's this? Oh, she's little. Oh my god, we're actually at I our height. I kept eating and eating. Toothpaste. Honey, I don't think toothpaste was a smart idea. Um. I ate a lot of things that night. I think those are fake berries. Yeah. 
Honey, no. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It's a bird. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. A barn I swallow? I reached out for her. What is happening? And suddenly... What? I was a cat. What? Oh my god, what? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Come here, birdie. I don't want to kill it. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. You gonna keep running from me? I jumped and I almost got her. Oh my god, the cats are getting mad. Why can't I get up on the table? I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. <gasps> what? And suddenly, I was an owl. An owl? First, all I heard was the wind. Oh my god. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Am I supposed to look down or something? Choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Close your eyes, kids. And suddenly, I was a shark. Um. What? This. Um. We're stuck. How on earth am I supposed to get down? I'm so actually. What the heck? Imaginations, am I right? And into the ocean. Ooh. Now <gasps> I was hungrier than ever. Oh shoot! I'm actually controlling this shark. I wanted fat, juicy seals. How do I target it? I'm so sorry. I really don't want to do this, but I have to. <gasps> oh my God! Its tail. Oh my I God! I tore off her flipper, and it tasted. Really good. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, she's bleeding. Okay, I don't like it. I don't think this game's for me. Grabbed on tight. Oh, I was so hungry. I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? What the heck? Are we a snake? Wait, are we a rope? What are we? Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Literally though. <gasps> Did we just eat him? Is 
we're gonna go upstairs. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Oh my god, this is so weird. Coming for you, mister. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, he smelt in the mirror. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. What? How hungry are you, child? Mama hasn't fed you probably for ages, if you're this hungry. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Ooh. Oh my god, what? We're going up. Where are we going? We're in a toilet! Oh my god, if that's not gross, I don't know what is. Are we in someone's house? Oh, wait, are we back in her- closer and closer. We're in her room, I think. Oh yeah, we are. Oh my god, please tell me we're not gonna kill your gerbil. Where are we going? What are we looking for? All of my stomachs started growling. All your stomachs? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Wow. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, and we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. It seems a little bit creepy, but I'm sure it's going to get better. So I hope you guys are excited for the rest of it, and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.